guys, in today's video, we're going to be doing a full 2023 Bloodhound Guide to the Hunter Call of the Wild. So, first of all, if you do buy the Bloodhound DLC, it is a DLC for the Hunter Call of the Wild. If you do buy the DLC, then, here, so what I'm going to do, just so you guys can see, what the Bloodhound can do, is I'm going to back shot that pronghorn so we'll track that here in a second so basically the bloodhound is an add-on for the hunter call of the wild and you can access your bloodhound now whenever you get the dlc you will get one free one but if you go to an outpost and go to this access cache and you go down to garage not garage kennel sorry <laughs> and uh you you will see your dogs and purchasable dogs now if you go to purchasable dogs the first one Whenever you buy the DLC, the first one will be free, and you'll be able to select the color and the gender, and then name it. Um, so basically, you access my dogs right here, and I'm going to set as active. Now, I do have traits, so basically, the levels just mean how good the dog does. Like, if you have a higher companion level, then he'll have more traits and stuff. Higher tracker level, it means he's a better tracker, and he'll be more... You know attentive and alert to tracks and blood so you can access the uh, the bloodhound wheel um, if you're on console you hold down um, down arrow if you're on PC I'm not exactly sure what it is I'm sure you can find that in the uh, control list so here are all your commands now I do have howl over here but you probably will not have that but here's all your commands right here so I'm gonna get my dog to heal and I'm just going to show you Trit if you uh, want to follow me. I do have Trit along no, no, with us. No, no, no. Okay, so my dog should should be coming. See, this is one reason why you do want to level your dog up as much as possible because um, it will. See, there we go. Now he's coming. So we shot the pronghorn somewhere over here, obviously. So, Tret, please, oh my god, anyway, um, so, just get your dog to track, the bottom here, and it will say searching for blood, and now, whenever you know he found, uh, the blood, he'll start running to the blood, and then it'll say tracking blood down there in the bottom right. There we go, tracking blood, there's the blood right here, obviously, now, I did shoot it in the back, which is a intestines hit, or yeah, most likely pelvis intestines. Uh, did use a seven mm, so we probably got good penetration. So your dog will pretty much just track it. And there are multiple traits you can get to help this, and then it'll say harvest found. Now all these uh, things right here, you can praise it to uh, level up his bond level. You can go. Yeah, let me claim this first. You can, to level up his bond, you can basically just get right here, and it'll say hold to interact. And you can pet him, you can play with him, and then you have these other commands that you already had. Pet, which levels the bond up. I believe play levels it up more than uh, pet. Play, right here. And then, pretty much, you can also buy dog treats in the store so basically what this does is it levels the dog up to get traits which I'll show you how that works in one second so here in the cache you can go to or go down to consumables and they're called doggy biscuits you can buy them for 4,000 and I'm not sure how many this is 25 okay so you hold down right, and then, I believe, maybe I'm incorrect about this, I've done this before, but I'm not seeing the option, I think it's right here, I think it might be after you, you know, kill an animal that you can give a treat to them, um, because it's not letting me right now, or maybe because the traits are too high, but it, it will be right there. And you can give them a treat. 
and that is the highest and best way of leveling his bond level up. But playing with him is the next best, and then petting him is the last. Pretty much, you should always play with him instead of petting him, because that gives you more points. Um, but yeah, if it's completely up to you. Wow, that is a big muley. Hold on. Guys, we may kill a diamond on this video, because... Okay, that's just an absolutely monstrous three. I thought that was at least a four, maybe a five, but it doesn't look to be as big as I thought. But anyway, see, we did not make a very good shot on that uh, muley there in a uh, second ago. So you can get the dog to track him. I thought that would have been better. Oh my god, and he stopped. <laughs> don't don't shoot, don't shoot like me. But um, yeah, that is the full guide to the bloodhounds in 2023 now of course i'm sure they probably will add um more dogs in the game in the future but if not it's okay um i'm sure they will probably add labs um plus so that that'll be good to see um uh there you go that is the full Guide to Bloodhounds. Now, if you if you don't have the Bloodhounds and you're wondering how to buy them, it is in the DLC store. It is in the DLC store, and I believe it's four dollars to buy the DLC uh, for the Bloodhounds. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.